everyone. Welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And last week we did a little project, a little mini project, using this little cat on the bench. So we just sort of colored this little cat and we just eliminated this whole area here. So this project for this week is sort of the opposite. We're going to use the bench now without the cat on it. So really versatile, fun to use these stamps in different ways. You're not just socked into the way that the image is made. So because they all work together really well, there's a lot of options that you have and a lot of ways that you can use them. So be creative. So this time we're gonna do this little bench. We're gonna add this little pot with the flowers on it and you're gonna see how simple it is. So in addition to this set, this is Watercolor Series 7. Uh, in addition to this basic image in this set, we're also gonna need a couple of other things. We're going to need these two vines from this set, 4605, the spring basket, and then a couple of things from our flowers and foliage set. So the vine, the grass, and then in the flower set, we're going to need, need the, um, the little daisies, the little fillers. Okay, so let's get going. First thing we're going to do is ink the basic image. We're going to use the sepia. And I'm just going to ink this whole thing except where that cat is. We don't want to ink any of this area. And actually, we really just want to um, stop right here and leave this whole L-shaped area out. So we don't want to ink any of that. Okay, we're going to stamp it kind of in the middle of the paper. It's our watercolor paper. Remember to use that and not cardstock. Okay, there we have it. We've got a nice big empty spot that we can put our flowers in. So we're going to start out just by adding water and pulling the color out of the lines. This is how the majority of projects start. Always easy. Just drag the color out of the lines. Pinch off your brush. You can make this back of this bench solid. So you can just color this all in solid as a solid back, or you can make it slats. Either way, your preference. I've done it both ways. And then just keep pulling this color out. Don't overwork this and don't stress out about this part. Okay, there we go. So let's add some color to the bench. We're gonna do that from our palette. I think it's cute to add a lot of different colors. <clears throat> so it looks like the bench just has a lot of peeling paint on it. We could add a little yellow too. So we're going to start by adding the lightest color here. This is a uh, olive brown. And we're just going to start by brushing it on. This area on the top of the bench is going to be the darkest. This also in here. And this board that goes across the front of the bench, that's the lightest. So we want to make sure that we have the least amount of color on there because we want it to look like this bench goes back in the distance. Again, we're trying to get that three-dimensional look. Don't color in everything solid. Really, really, really avoid that. And just keep your brush pretty dry because you'll get the texture of the paper in there that way. Let's add a little more color here. This is a process. The more that you apply, the more times you apply the color, the darker it's gonna get. And again, this area here is gonna be the darkest. in these corners and drag all this color out. Okay, let's go with another one. This is olive green. So we're gonna take some of this color now, brush it on here. And on the bench part, So fun to do. And you can leave this sepia too. You don't have to add any color to it. Okay, there we go. 
Let's add a little yellow too. The more variation of color, the better. Okay, I think we're pretty good. Let's add just a little more green. Back in here, these the, the, the bench legs back in the back, those are gonna be the darkest. So be sure to really show that. This area on the side is gonna be dark. And these corners also. And especially the top. Okay, let's pull a little of this color out now so that we get some background. Little shadow effect here. That's gonna give us some more dimension also. Okay, there we go. Ready to go on to the next step. So let's add our flowers that are gonna be sitting on the bench. Okay, so I, I don't have a planter that's really small enough for this project. So I'm gonna show you how to add the flowers even though you don't have a planter. It's really, really easy to do. You're gonna love this technique. Okay, so let's start just by adding the, the flowers, the blooms, and the foliage. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the little filler flower from the flower set. And I'm gonna start about halfway across the bench. So about here, about, about a half inch up. And I'm just gonna stamp it in a circle. Remember, one, two, three, four, five. Just getting this light color in first. Be sure your stamp is clean. It's about the times when I'm using yellow that I really have to be careful about cleaning my stamp. And then we're gonna add water to it. See how that brightens it up? So we're just gonna get a little patch of yellow in here, just like so. So let's clean our, let's clean our stamp off and go with our pink. This is magenta. So we're gonna ink this up really well and we're gonna stamp it right next to the yellow. All in this area here. Add our water to it. Don't, don't worry if you mix the yellow into the pink or the pink into the yellow, that's okay. We don't mind that a bit. So I brought this pink almost all the way down to the bench. Okay, so let's add a few little vines in here. This is the little vine from the basket. So we're gonna ink that up and maybe just stamp a few in here. And a couple out here. Remember to get that sequence in there at least four or five times. Dip your brush and pinch it off. And just add the water. Get those light ones too. Just touch it with your brush. Okay, so now we've got these flowers and our vines kind of floating around. So we're gonna take our, the fine point now of our sepia pen, and we're just gonna make a half circle. Right underneath. And then we're gonna dip our brush in water, and we're gonna pull that color out. Okay, so let's move on to the next point. And we're gonna ink our vine from our foliage set. And I'm using the number 15, so the olive green. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure you get that in there a bunch of times. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
three, four, five. And we can put a few here. And maybe a few out here. Up to you. Okay, let's dip our brush in water again. And we're just going to touch all these little blooms. Just touch it with your brush. We're just softening all these little lines. You can see how this just all kind of comes together. It always looks like a mess after you stamp it, so don't panic, don't give up. Just keep adding the water to it and you'll see it all will just kind of come together. Okay, so let's add our flowers. We're gonna use our little filler flower again and we're gonna go with our magenta. Stamp it in a circle, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And just work your way around. Even if you do a small bloom and you just ink a few, you're still going to walk it around in that circle. Just wherever. Try to keep the blooms in the light area. Try not to stamp over the green. It's going to show up way better if you do that. Let's add our water. Bring this all together. Just soften all these little lines. You can see I haven't dipped my brush in water very many times. We want to keep that really light. Not too much water and just touch it. You're just kind of jumping your brush around, bouncing your brush around. Okay, let's add a little blue now. So this is a number 86. We're gonna little, add a little shadow. So we're gonna take some of this blue now. And we're gonna add some to the top of the bench over here and underneath this pot. Just a little bit. Again, the top of this bench is going to be the darkest, so you can really, really get that dark. Back under here and under here. You could drag that shadow all the way down. Okay, let's add a little green now too behind these slats because you see this white area in here? If we're seeing through that bench, if those are slats, we're going to see some green back here. So let's just add a little green. This is just from the palette. I'm just going to add a little color back in here. Okay, let's add our grass. And we're going to be finished here. Quick and easy. So I'm using the number 15, and I'm just going to stamp in a little grass here. Kind of where these bench legs are. Remember to walk it. One, two, three, four, five. At, try to get at least five impressions. Okay, add some water and drag that stroke up. Just like this. You could add a little more green underneath. Underneath this bench would be a shadow. It's going to be pretty dark under here. So we can add some of that blue as well. Just a little blue to show that. Add a little more here. And our little bench has come together. Try this project, it's so fun. 
Don't forget to sign. That's always a must. When you finish a project, sign and date. And add that image to a card, just like this one. And send it off to someone you love. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week. Thank you.